Matthew and Mary Beth live in a madhouse. Our play is looking over our shoulder to see if anyone's in the room. Let's see what Dr. Berman really thinks of their world. I get a sense that there aren't a lot of boundaries around your space together. In her Couples in Crisis play-by-play. Whew, this couple has a madhouse that they're living in. We don't have a good idea of how to manage our time. There are a lot of distractions. They have their son. Honey, you gotta wait one sec. They have the dog. They have the sister-in-law. They have the neighbor's kids. We take the neighbor kids in a lot and, you know. I don't see how they have any time together. My sense of Mary Beth is that she's a real giver. She likes to take care of her family and take in stray dogs. And it's not easy for her to say, this is what I need right now in order to be happy. Our son sleeps in our bedroom and our other bedroom is occupied by my sister-in-law. These two have taken in Mary Beth's sister and they're forced to sleep in the room with their son. <laughs> so they keep taking in all these people that prevent them from having opportunities for intimacy. Once I'm in the jungle, I'm swinging from the vines just fine. Matthew is definitely a character. And I think he uses humor to kind of deflect from embarrassing or awkward situations. So he uses a lot of metaphors and a lot of humor to talk about something that's very difficult to talk about, which is okay. But it seems like Mary Beth can get a little bit frustrated with that because her interpretation is that he's not taking it seriously. In many ways, Matthew's got a little boy quality about him. He's very playful. He doesn't necessarily know when to stop joking. Foreplay is looking over our shoulder to see if anyone's in the room. That's our foreplay. He likes to play his video games. He would prefer to play a video game and, and masturbate in the shower than spend the energy with me. And it's not to say that he's not a responsible husband and father, but I think one of the reasons he likes to sit in his chair and play video games is it's a way to tune out the chaos of their home. And what I would like to see is for him to stop playing video games and use that time to be together. When there is right. a moment free, it's filled with, you know. This is funny here, where I ask them how often they have sex, and Matthew's answer is. Well, with each other, you mean? <laughs> because he regularly self-stimulates by himself. But rarely do they have sex together. And that can create major conflict in a relationship. Listen, it's totally fine for people to self-stimulate, and I say this to women all the time. Do not be offended by your male partner's self-stimulation, and do not fool yourself into thinking that he's not really doing it. It really sort of, I think, is unrealistic for women to be offended by that. However, if he's doing that to the exclusion of having sex with you, then there can be some resentment. And so part of the reason they may not be taking advantage of those opportunities is because he's taking care of his sex drive on his own rather than letting some of it build up so he's motivated to leave the video games aside to spend some time with her. They seem to really appreciate each other and have affection for one another. They touch each other. They're sitting close together. She laughs a lot at his jokes. Right. <laughs> There's eye contact being made. They seem to both desperately love their little boy. So it's clear that they're really committed to their relationship and their family. It's just that they aren't making each other a priority in the process. You want to go? Okay. You can use my Sharpie if you like. Clearly, creating privacy for themselves is an issue. And my guess is that they don't do a lot to create boundaries for themselves. They just let everybody in, and they're not really creating space for their own intimacy. I think Matthew and Mary Beth are in good shape. However, if they don't start creating some sacred time for themselves as a couple, 
eventually it's going to take a toll on their emotional and physical intimacy and perhaps put their relationship into crisis. So I hope they take advantage of my advice and start to create little bubbles of time that are just for the two of them. Sounds like Matthew and Mary Beth need to stop putting so much on their plates if they want these problems off the table. To see more Couples in Crisis, subscribe or watch another episode right now. And check out Daily Dose with Jillian Michaels, where America's favorite trainer gives you a piece of her mind every day.